what is a citizen developer and how you can become one? That is the question and that is the answer that you will be getting in this video. A citizen developer is a person without formal training in software development who uses and develops software using low code or no code platforms. We will learn more about these platforms later on in the video and how you can use them to become a citizen developer and gain a competitive advantage. Now, this is very important. According to Gartner by 2023, there will be four times more citizen developers than traditional programmers in large enterprises. And that is huge and it is a main game changer. Now, why is citizen development on the rise? Now, there are two perspectives. There is a business perspective and an IT perspective. If we take a look at it from an IT perspective, we will understand that more and more organizations are opting to digitalize their operations. More and more organizations may be because of COVID or because they want a competitive advantage. More and more organizations, they're trying to go digital and automate their processes. In this response, the IT department needs to coordinate large efforts and large tasks to respond to the, to the ideas and requests from the company to build all these new solutions. As a result, many IT departments are falling behind and have a huge backlog of IT solution requests. Now, if we take a look at this from a business perspective, we know that low-code and no-code platforms enable people with a basic understanding of business needs and problem solving skills to create apps that can help the whole department and the entire enterprise. And that is the magic of citizen development when they're using low-code, no-code platforms and tools. Now, some of the benefits of citizen development movement are the following five. Meeting the demand for apps. As we discussed previously, creating apps without no code, that is one of the powers of the citizen developer. Creating apps by dragging and dropping features into an application, having it automatically connect with different data sources, it is the power of low code, no code platforms that allow citizen developers to create apps without going to the IT departments. In addition to this, since these apps are built by the end user or the person in the company, they are exactly the requirements or exactly the app that needs to be built. It is, there is no process of requirements gathering, understanding the requirements, giving those requirements to a developer and then showing it to the client or the business user and asking them if it's okay. That whole process disappears. Now it is the person that actually needs to solve that problem that is building the app for themselves. And that is great. This also engages the entire workforce. The entire workforce now can uh, collaborate and can create this kind of applications. This is not something that is left to a specific group of people, just the IT department. In addition to this, it also increases productivity. It increases productivity for the entire team because now team members are able to automate and digitalize different things, different steps that they were performing previously and now they can do it better with technology by building custom apps, flows, chatbots and so on. These companies and these people will gain a competitive advantage compared to other people that are working in a traditional manner. Now, how about the citizen development governance? It is crucial to have proper governance if citizen developers are going to rise in your organization. First of all, there has to be a vision, a vision for the team and for the citizen developers. What are they going to build, what tools they're going to use and so on. As to support this vision, there has to be a central hub for the citizen development governance, meaning there has to be a team that is managing all the applications, managing the support, managing training and supporting the development of these applications by the citizen developments. Also, proper tools have to be identified to be used and these tools have the citizen developers have to be trained properly on, those, on these tools and also there has to be a very strong focus on the security as well. Right now, citizen developers are getting the ability to create apps, automations, and so on. However, sometimes they might not have the correct knowledge of securing certain applications or certain data informations in the correct way. Therefore, it is crucial that there is a central body that governs all of the automations that are created and that is there for support. Now, before we dive into the specific 
tools that are used by the citizen developers, it is important to understand a couple of features or main features that characterize any citizen development platform. So, for example, the platform that a citizen developer will use has to be cloud-based platform. It has to be a cross-platform functionality, meaning that, that this tool works across different platforms, your cell phone, your computer, your iPad, and so on. It has to be also very easy to learn and often with training available online, easily available as well. Data centricity is a crucial part of uh, the citizen development platforms because they have to be data centric. And the final point is security as well. Data has to be secured and in large organizations, this is a key, uh, a key concept. A few words about the citizen development framework. Citizen developers should not work independently of the IT team. A team comprising full-time developers should manage the citizen developers. The full-time developers will review the requirements, design, and enforce a standard of development. They will also support the citizen developers when needed. So now, what is a citizen developer? Citizen developers use low-code and no-code platforms to build business applications that optimize business processes and change how the business functions for the better. Citizen developers are crucial in any organizations. That is why it is important that you start your journey to become a citizen developer right now. And in these videos on my channel, you can find exactly the tools, how to use them and how to automate different things immediately. You can also check out my full training about the citizen developer on Udemy and on Skillshare. Thank you so much for watching RPA Champions and I will see you in the next automation.